here. He's a young man. He's a musician. I don't know if some of you have heard of him. He's going to come over and share a few words. His name is Neil Young. Thank you. Thank you so much. We stand, we stand with you. We, we are with you. We're with the farmers. We're with the ranchers. We're with the Indians in the USA. We are with the First Nations people of Canada. We say, honor the treaties. Honor our agreements. Honor, honor your word. Keep your word. My mother always said to me, keep your word and clean up your mess, Neil. <laughs> So this is what we want the government of Canada to do. Keep your word. Don't let this happen. It's on First Nations land. They have the right to stop it. Let them speak. Don't bowl over them like they weren't there because they are there and they will be held to pay. There's an ancient story about a black snake that comes and, and threatens the First Nations people across North America, and this is it. It stretches from the tar sands of Alberta to the Gulf of Mexico, and it carries this, this poison that is, that is going to do incredible damage to Mother Earth. Three times as much CO2 in this oil as any other oil on the planet. It turns a Toyota Celica into a Chevy Suburban if you burn gasoline in that. That's what happens. And this is what's going down this pipeline. For who? For what? It's not for you. It's not for, for us. It goes to a tax-free zone in Texas so that it can be shipped to Asia or somewhere else in the world and used in automobiles to pollute. And we can't have any more pollution. We need the CO2 to stop. That's why I stand with my friends. They are the people of the earth. They are the caretakers of the earth. We love the earth. We don't want to see this happen. Our grandchildren will, will be trying so hard to dig themselves out of the hole that we're digging right now just to make a few bucks over the last few years of the fossil fuel age. We need to end the fossil fuel age and move into something better. Yeah. So, so I say, I say to President Obama, this is your defining moment in the history of the world. Make your statement, and make a statement that's good for all time. It's a change. The change is coming. Why not give it a push? Why not stand up and put America on the right side of history? Yeah.